about physicists. So today we're going to start electricity. And basically this is our introduction. And well, let's see what we're going to get out of it. Basically we're going to look at the main components of an electrical circuit. There are three components you need to understand. And then we're going to look at the symbols of an electrical circuit and, and how we would use that to basically build one. Okay, so circuits. Well, these are the paths that electrical charge can flow around unbroken. Now, that's actually quite important to understand that, um, the unbroken part. Let's just get our pen up here. We'll go to... Uh, this unbroken part, like that's ultra important. The second the path is broken, it won't flow anymore. Um, electrons, flow, electrons flow around the circuit and they carry the energy, or what we're going to call the charge. Okay, and so that's your electrons. They carry that as they're pushed around the, the circuit. Now they can have they can have their power or energy used up. So we'll say charge even um, used up as they travel around the circuit. Now circuits actually have three main components that we need to look at. They have a, an energy source, which we'll call a cell, a power pack, or a battery. And this can be thought of as a charge pump. It pushes the charge around. Okay, you have a conducting path. This is the wires that we look at, and there's very little resistance in them, and that's the path that the energy flows through. Okay, then you've got load or energy users. So it's not load user, it's a load or energy user. And this is a globe, resistor, or anything else that's using up the energy as it's going around. So anything that does something with that charge, that's a load. Okay, so a circuit diagram. Here we've got two. Um, if you ever draw a circuit, we'll go back to a red pen now. Um, if you ever draw a circuit like this, you're wrong. You always need to draw it like this. Okay, so circuit diagrams, they're, they're a schematic and simple plan that represent a circuit. Um, they use specific symbols that represent specific pieces of equipment. And the symbols are simple and universal. So basically, you could have yourself as an electrician, or you could have an electrician in Bangalore. If you give them a circuit diagram, they'll know exactly what to do with it. Um, the one that's different, by the way, is globe. Globe actually has quite a bit of variation. We teach you to do globes like this, but the most common globe is actually a circle with an X in the middle. Oh, that's a very terrible circle, I apologize. That's the most common symbol. So be used to both symbols. Both symbols are correct. Um, and once you get outside of our school and a lot of other schools, um, that symbol is the accurate one. It's just, well, basically our textbook has this. So there we are. Um, these are your circuit symbols. Now you need to draw these at a table and, and know them, basically. You see you've got your conductor or lead, your cell, battery. Um, cell, you want to call that a transformer or power pack. Transformer is the right word. Uh, there's your globe, a closed switch or an open switch. A fixed resistor, a variable resistor, and that's a resistor that you can change. We'll see these as we come on, don't stress. You've got an M meter, a volt meter, leads connected, so that's where they cross paths, or leads crossing, so they one they go over each other, but they don't actually they're not actually connected. Uh, if we go back to this one, you'll see that your circuit has a has corners and it's drawn with a ruler. That's important. You're always going to draw this in pencil and with a ruler, and yeah, that's us. Nice and simple. Good way to start the lesson. We'll see you tomorrow and we'll play with some electricity.